Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Today we got a fun spin on Mono Red. It's also a slightly old one, but with the companion change uh, in the gameplay, it's certainly came back and floated to the top. So what is it? We got a Mono Red Cavalcade deck once again. So this is a top 1000 Mythic Cavalcade deck. Now I it's primarily used in best of one. I did put together a sideboard that you can use for best of three. Now quickly here, here are the cards for you. This deck will be available down below in the description for you so you will have access to it. Now one of the callouts here that I want to make is there are some core pieces uh, that seem to be missing in terms of uh, the, the general uh, framework of this deck, but they are available for you in the sideboard. Now, you may want to flip some of these around, but the key pieces here that I do just want to call out, Chandra and Chandra Spitfire, uh, two big cards, I'll just say, in the previous version. But again, this is a top 1,000 uh, Mythic deck, so you may just want to run with this. And uh, big things here where I would play these, uh, especially if you need something over the top and a big finisher. Chandra, uh, again, if you need the additional bodies, but also to pull uh, some of your sorcery cards back or instant cards like Shock. Uh, we got Fire Prophecy in here in best of three to keep the board clear, as well as to help you with some of the draw and... and uh, smoothing of your hand and then we have ember shield breaker in here for any of the the like sack decks uh and uh, teamer decks so a couple items to call out and make sure that uh, you have some additional firepower no pun intended with mono red here um to help you with your best of three matches all right we're gonna hop into it right away here and uh, get moving in some play matches i am currently uh, mythic 99%. You can follow that journey if you'd like. Uh, was at the top 500. Since haven't had enough time to play and some other things like losses, um, but my martyr deck's been running really nice. So with that said, just want to say thank you to all the subscribers. As always, appreciate your feedback and support. Feel free to follow down over there uh, and subscribe to the channel. Again, like I said, you can stay in touch uh, on the uh, June Mythic journey that we got going on. So all right, hopefully we will find a match here relatively soon and get moving with our Cavalcade deck. As is always, uh, these mono red aggro decks hopefully will tend to be quick, quick matches. So this is a great uh, opening start with us with a double uh, Cavalcade. Now the one call out that I wanted to make here is obviously we got it. Um, we are on the draw, which is going to keep us a little bit slower is um, when you are considering your hand, you wanna probably make sure that you have a cavalcade in it uh, to start off, uh, to make sure, mainly because that is the primary component of this deck. So you are gonna absolutely wanna make sure that you have that. So that's gonna be a problem for us. It's going to slow us down slightly. Uh, I don't like that play right now. I like that better. So what I'm doing is setting up for a potential. I'm saying potential because we're short of land right now. Um, a potential to have a another draw here. All right. So I did this purposefully so that we can play Cavalcade next time. If we get lucky and hit a land, then we can get Torbrand in there too. But obviously, we will see. Nothing like an Orzhov deck here.
does have the ability, there we go, does have the ability to use L seed. But this one's going to be bigger, so I am going to play Torbaran. Because this is going to give us a lot more firepower. And then if we get Cavalcade and not lose a bunch of our guys, we're going to be sitting really nice. Has to block here, otherwise it's lethal. Now, probably we'll give Prot. Let's see, maybe he's maybe it's got something they can play. There we go. I would consider that a slight misplay uh, on our opponent's turn there. They could have blocked across, sacked Elseed, gave protection, would have pulled off a Fervent Champion, but hey, it happens. All right, Orzov, check. That was a really, really smooth run for us with this top 1,000 Cavalcade deck. On to match number two here. So this thing goes really, really quick, as you see. Very linear deck. Um, gets moving, but again, that key component, Cavalcade, uh, we got to make sure that we have that in our hand. Uh, if we, Obviously, if we draw into it, very lucky. This deck is heavily, heavily stacked uh, on those one drops, so we just need to be careful. Torbrand was great there. That really, really speeds up the game. Um, I love Light Up the Stage. So here's an interesting one for us. Oh, I, I like this hand. We don't have Cavalcade, and we're first. I'm going to try it. So we'll try it without the Cavalcade <clears throat> to start, uh, mainly because I also want to show why we probably should keep Cavalcade. Uh, we'll do this. I am going to play Runaway first here because we can get real big real fast. Wonder if we got a ah, blue black flash. There we go. Now that hurts us. Good news is. We'll put him on. Uh, let's see here. Probably should have went Grim Initiate there, but that's fine. We will be okay. Will be slower for us, but that's okay. Now that's better for us. Because we certainly, certainly don't want to lose tin uh, fervent. In my opinion, anyway. Now we are behind on cards. We'll see if the <clears throat> we'll see if we peter out here. So Either they're going to face losing their Brineborn, or they're going to have to play something, because we have first strike. So still behind on cards. We got a big uphill battle right now. 
Very big uphill battle. We'll take that one. <laughs> uh, that's gonna hurt. I don't know why they didn't mutate onto Dark Destroyer there. Because then they could have killed my Fervent. <sighs> we'll take it. But we're still... This is big for us, though. That is real big. No mutate. This is a great deck, by the way. Um, it was... Uh, that hurts. That was a good top deck for him. Um, Covert Go Blues uh, deck was what it was. We will swing in with both, uh, and we're going to do this because we'll get the double triggers. This was a top 77 uh, deck. There we go. All right. Love it. The 1K beats the top 100K or top 100 deck. Covert Go Blues. Sweet. Very, very competitive. Now, they did make a couple, I would call them uh, misplays. All right. There we go. And on to our third and final match with the top 1,000 Cavalcade deck. As I said, pretty fast matches. We were able to recover there uh, with some decent draws uh, for light up the stage, giving us some additional things. Torbran, lots of things still even towards later game that uh, can help you recover. I was a little worried there, though, to be honest. Uh, I, I thought we were going to kind of peter out, but we did not and we were able to keep the gas on the pedal and keep the pressure on our opponent. All right. Running slow today, but we will get there. Here we go. Terra Rosa. Now, this time, we do not have the cavalcade. Should we try it again, is the question. I like it because we have Runaway. I'm going to try it. So, we're getting real risky on this one. No cavalcade, no draw. Oh, now we got good news is, now we got the draw. we hit a cavalcade next time that would be perfect ah there you go i love the hush
Let's see if they block. I would assume they have the protection from whatever card. We're going to get Hush done first. No triggers, so that was nice. Ooh, there we go. Real helpful. Now if we could pull a cavalcade. So good news is everything that we have here will deal additional damage. Do everything. Minus Torbran. And wipe the board. And regular damage. Boom! Look at that, 3-0 Cavalcade, top 1,000. Awesome, awesome spin for you again on Mono Red. Very, very fast competitive deck as well. So there you have it, folks. Let's go back and take a look at this deck. There we go. Again, this will be down below for you in the, in the uh, description, so you'll have access to it right away. Great, great competitive fun deck. There you go. Again, here is the sideboard. Some of the stuff that I threw in there that is certainly playable. Uh, gives you some options in the uh, three of matches. Now, uh, if you have questions, let me know down below in the comments. Always, always happy to help if I can. And please don't hesitate to ask. I'm here to help. So lastly, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel down over there. Stay a while. Love that. Um, appreciate your support and feedback as always. Now you take care and stay safe, Planeswalkers. Enjoy the Cavalcade deck. And may you swiftly uh, get up the rank scale. So maybe I'll see you in Mythic soon. Take care. Mithras out.